Uh, good afternoon, everyone. So, welcome to another session of Research and Publication Unit 2 Scientific Conduct. So, this is Lecture 7A, and today in 7A, we will discuss scientific misconduct. And then 7B will discuss redundant publication and selecting reporting and misinterpretation of data. So, we start with scientific misconduct. What is this scientific misconduct? Basically, when you think of your research, it is basically a scientific way of conducting a research. If you want that your research is good, you should use scientific way of conducting research that we already have discussed in the process. And here you can see the process, I believe. Here you can see the process. Scientific way of conducting a research. Identify data spell out research questions, formulate objective, plan analysis, prepare data collection and then collect data, analysis of data, draw conclusion, formulate recommendation and inform all the stakeholders. This we already have discussed. So here when you go through this process, whenever you go through your research, PhD or any other research, is there any possibility of misconduct? Yes, there is a possibility of misconduct. According to US Department of Health and Human Science, what is this research misconduct? Research misconduct means fabrication, falsification and plagiarism. I, I believe plagiarism you all are aware of. Plagiarism is that someone has written something, you copy and paste it and uh, you say you tell everybody that this is your work but this is published this is produced by someone else so here you can see very very important plagiarism then we'll talk about fabrication and falsification and performing or reviewing research or in reporting research result so when you you know go for review of literature do you really go for plagiarism or when you give your outcome, output of your research, what about plagiarism? So start with first misconduct fabrication. What happens in fabrication? See here, fabrication is making up data or result and recording or reporting them. So you yourself without going to respondent, without going to customer, you yourself, what you do? Fill out the questionnaire. You yourself make data. But what you should do, data should come from the respondent or the customer. But what you do, you don't go to respondent, you don't go to customer, you, you, you make your own data, right? And record it and then give in the research that this data you have collected. But you haven't collected, you make that data your own. Then second here you see in the falsification, I mean misconduct, second is falsification. It is basically a manipulating research material, equipment or process or changing or omitting data or results such that the research is not accurately represented in research record. So basically you find that because we all try that we should re reject our hypothesis. Suppose your reject hypothesis is not rejected. But uh, you feel that the research would be a good research when your research is rejected. I mean, the hypothesis is rejected. So in that case, if you don't give the real information, right information, manipulate the information or whatever information you have, you give wrong information. You don't give accurate information. That is what falsification or you collected data from 100 people but you are showing that you collected from 500 right so this is what fabrication then falsification and lastly very very important we are all aware of plagiarism plagiarism is the appropriation of another person idea i mean just copy and paste other person write up or articles or idea process result or words without giving appropriate credit so according to UGC norms, when you check your paper, in your paper for promotion or to get job, uh, it should not be more than 10%. Plagiarism should not be more than 
so we have two software turn it in which is basically lot of people use but ugc has recommended in government universities that we can use urkut right so we our university in delhi university uh, has given us urkut i hope in your university you will have some kind of software and then finally misconduct research misconduct does not include honest error or difference or you may have different idea i may have different idea so it's not a misconduct right so i hope with this uh, it is clear that this is research misconduct and then what constitutes scientific misconduct uh, here you can see different people will have different idea for example motivations are different for each crime and you simply cannot determine why people do something wrong so for a thief if he steal something he will have his own motto but uh, he will justify that why he or she is you know stealing some goods from your home so that they they will justify and something wrong that would be something wrong in general so how to prevent it if you don't know what they are doing wrong so if someone is doing something wrong if they are not aware that whether this is right or wrong so it's a ethical violation for example you copy and paste information which already produced by someone else and you say you are not aware of this that that would be a crime right so that's why ugc has you know recommended this course that now you know that if you copy and paste someone else material if you give false information then it would be a kind of crime right now what kind of violation here you can see if intentionally you neg negligence or neg uh, intentionally you uh, uh, you don't acknowledge previous work right for example you created your own article in second article you are giving same information right so can you do like this so here copy and paste of someone else if you knowingly intentionally right you are not giving that uh, reference or acknowledgement proper acknowledgement then that would be a violence violations then deliberate fabrication of data that you cook your own data you make your own data then deliberate omission of known data that does not agree with the hypothesis as i said we all pray to god that our hypothesis should be rejected to make it uh, rejected what you do you omit some data you delete some data this is also violation passing another researcher data as one owns someone else has collected now you are saying that this is your data without acknowledge him or her this is also violation then publication of result without the consent of all the researchers suppose three or four people they are working together and by your own name you get it published so that would be a violation because you need to refer other name also because he or she also participated in that research then failure to acknowledge all of the researchers who perform the work so you need to acknowledge them you need to give their name as per the their contribution then very important you can see conflict of interest that we already have discussed because you will have so many stakeholders your supervisor your university board of study respondent the institute who is going to give funding so you you should not have any kind of conflict with them so now when you submit a proposal to government they also ask you to write sign some 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 document that will reflect on conflict of interest then uh, repeated publication of two similar result so again and again with same data same kind of uh, you know write up you give some, same result that would be also a kind of uh, violation and then breach of confidentiality because whatever data you collect uh, from the respondent you take their consent that it would be for academic purpose not commercial purpose and in many cases you give them some kind of you know undertaking that uh, you will not disclose your uh, information to anyone else it's a matter of privacy right so that you need to take care of right so these are all our violation one more misrepresenting others previous work someone has done something and uh, same work you do i mean with same data 
same representation it would be also kind of violation because you do something similar but there should be something which should be unique otherwise there will be no use of that right then scientific conduct what is scientific conduct misconduct we already have discussed here you can see violation and scientific misconduct now what would be the uh, scientific conduct so here you see you remember in ramayana uh, hanuman ji uh, you remember ramayana lot Uh, anjali uh, replaced the mountain the hanuman ji he brought that mountain right uh, which is called sanjeevni and when uh, the 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 uh, lakshman he, he 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 got some treatment because of that sanjeevni uh, then hanuman ji was uh, asked or told to go back and uh, you know take this mountain back to the same place after the use of that sanjeevni he was asked to go back and put this uh, hill or the, the the mountain at the same place same similarly mahabharata ashwadhama used bharam shastra against the norms of military science as he was not knowing how to stop it so this is what you need to take you, you need to decide what is scientific misconduct what is scientific conduct here you can see uh, socrates plato aristotle and chanakya they all proposed value system in conducting investigation so whatever work you do whatever action whatever reaction whatever research you perform you need to you know use some logic you need to use some scientific conduct so what are the factors which actually make us unethical so as we already have discussed you report uh, ethical misconduct like plagiarism fraud mismanagement of fund this is also a kind of you know unethical behavior and in indian context uh, as i told you earlier also india has become a hub of misrepresentation of uh, paper or article duplication of article right so here you see concern in indian uh, indian context declining quality of research you can see whatever research we are conducting whatever phd we are writing the quality is not so good very few journal in high index scholar journal scholarly journals very few journals you will see from india they are highly ranked and that's why ugc every 3 or 6 month they de recognize the journal right that is something which it's difficult to understand but it's true this is because of declining the quality of research so now many people i have seen they want a promotion but they don't have any article so what they do they uh, you know spend money and get publication within 24 hours and then you might have seen some cases about harassment of uh, you know researchers uh, maybe sometime it's a vice versa also harassment of supervisor by the researcher right so here what we need to do we need to minimize this unethical practice so in this context uh, we have this course uh, research and publication ethics and indian national science academy ugcr icmr icar they frame rules and regulation and they sponsor workshop they sponsor conference to address this this kind of ethical issue so that people like you species research scholars they can understand the importance of ethical practices ethical issue and then integrate ethics into a science curriculum at the graduate and undergraduate level of the uh, instructions here you can see if you get uh, 10% plagiarism then no penalty here you can see label 0 it is for promotion up to 2018 as cas gas a uh, 2018 uh, rules and regulation so if it is between 10 to 14 40% then you need to withdraw your manuscript your paper if it is between 40 to 60% then if it was found later then they will deny your increment will not allow to guide uh, for next two years any phd scholar then level 3 you can see above 60% then in that case that would be a kind of penalty then i to increment not allowed to guide for next 3 years so now you can see here this kind of penalty uh, anyone can face 
and then uh, now we have this consortium for academic research ethics now you might have seen care list ugc care list right so this is ugc care 2019-2018 uh, this is basically a reference list of quality journals after 2019-14 june only two groups are there one and two where one group we have scopus and web, web of science in second group we have ugc they have refer some journals where you can send your paper for publication so ugc cell for journal analysis center for publication ethics uh, savitri bhule uh, university pune that you know i believe because they take care of this consortium for academic research ethics care ugc care uh, list 2019 and then we have ugc care university jnu tejpur university ms university baroda university of hyderabad and now you all are part of this you can see last line after august 2019 these uh, university decided let us introduce two credit courses on research and publication ethics as a part of bsd and mphil course so you are attending this course to understand this research and publication ethics so now i hope you understand research misconduct uh, so if you have any question now we can discuss and then we'll proceed further.